on a high up shelf, on its own, leaning against a rusting bookend, is a slim, unmarked volume. Its cover seems like it's made from worn through corduroy, its colour hovering between the indistinct green of lichen and the dirty grey of a paving slab. You find yourself staring at it for longer than you would have thought you might stare at an unremarkable book. After a while, you start to get a funny feeling. This book doesn't want me to look at it, you think. This book is actually trying to get me to look away. And being a curious sort of child, the kind that would leave no box unopened, you know what you must do. So you search for something to stand on. And now you're carrying a small library ladder towards the book. And now you're halfway up that ladder. And that's when you hear a low voice. A voice that sounds like dust. This low voice, the dusty one, says one word. And that word is... Oi! Less brave children than you might be startled at hearing such a voice. But you are not one of those less brave children. You are steadfast. You are from Ipswich. So you say... Hello? In a voice that, if it is a little wobbly, remains as strong as a lion's roar. And when no one answers, you know exactly what to say next. Who said that? And you are only trembling a tiny teensy amount when you hear that cracked voice again. I'd advise you to look at the other books. They're far more interesting than me. Who are you? You say, with more of the straightforward bravery for which you are known. I am a book, is the reply. 